But the number trillion got mentioned earlier. I yes. can't let that go without reference. That if you had a trillion one dollar bills, you can stack them and reach the moon and back four times. Well, first of all, let's clarify what's, what the NASA budget is. Do you realize that the $850 billion, the bailout, the bank bailout, that sum of money could reach Venus? <laughs> <laughs> that, that sum of money is greater than the entire 50-year running budget of NASA. And so when someone says, we don't have enough money for this space probe, I'm asking, no, it's not that you don't have enough money. It's that the distribution of money that you're spending is warped in some way that you are removing the only thing that gives people something to dream about tomorrow. Do you remember the 60s? Before there's an article in, 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 in Life magazine, the, the, the home of tomorrow, the city of tomorrow, transportation of tomorrow. After we stopped going to the moon, it all ended. We stopped dreaming. dreaming. And so I worry that decisions that Congress makes doesn't factor in the consequences of those decisions on tomorrow. Tomorrow's gone. They're playing for tomorrow, metaphoric tomorrow. They're playing for the quarterly report. They're playing for the next election cycle. And that is mortgaging the actual future of this nation. The rest of the country, the rest of the world, is the past of problem. Origins of the cosmos and the, the, the engineering innovation.